What's going on, peeps? It's YouTube Troy, K.A. Papa Birdo. And um, I want to talk about the new Collector's Edition that was announced on the Japan Expo trailer for Storm 4. Uh, honestly, you know, I was excited. I was excited when I saw the whole trailer. And I want to talk about that later on. But I, I wanted to make this video about the Collector's Edition specifically because, you know, it's a really good Collector's Edition for the most part. Like, it has, um, let's see, I'm looking right here, and it says... This was worrying me, right? It says the European version of the game will get a collector's edition that would include a Naruto figurine from the last Naruto the movie, a metal plate with an exclusive illustration, a future pack, a Storm Memories art book, and a collector's box. So, you know, you get all that shit I just mentioned. And, you know, to a lot of people, this shit doesn't really mean anything other than just extra shit for all of us. I'm going to make extra money. But for me... You know, personally, I would want this. I, I would really want this, especially because it's the last Storm game. And, you know, they've always fucked us with that shit. They've always forgotten about America for this collector's edition. Um, I'm not sure if Revolution got a collector's edition in America, and that was like the first time. But I'm pretty sure the collector's edition, for the most part, has always, always, always been for Europe. And I get it. I get it, Savo Kaneto. You know, Europe has... Um, your biggest fan base, right? Out of, like, the whole Naruto fandom or whatever for, like, all the Storm game fandom. You know, Europe is the most supportive in that area. But still, you know, there's a lot of people in America who love Naruto, right? Who like playing the games. And I feel like it's unfair when they always come out with this collector's edition. I mean, back when I had, like, 500, oh, I think a thousand subs, I would always complain about this shit because... You know, I remember wanting Storm 2's Collector's Edition, even though it wasn't a big fucking deal. I remember wanting, um... Oh, by the way, uh, I wanted to really quick uh, just say that Storm 2's Collector's Edition, I believe it was a Collector's Edition, it came with a DLC code to unlock Minato early. So, they're doing the same thing again with the last character. So, like, Naruto and Sasuke, basically, from the last, they're the same thing as Minato from Storm 2, where... He's in the game, but they're probably going to be, like, one of the last characters to unlock. And, you know, I, I know that they're from the last movie, but I mean, like, they're going to be they're gonna be the last characters to unlock, okay? And, honestly, I, I just feel that there's no real point to having them as DLC if you can just fucking unlock them in the game. But I guess they want to, you know, make people believe they're rewarding you some way by pre-ordering or getting the collector's edition so on and so forth uh but yo uh this collector's edition looks really nice i mean i want all of this stuff i really do uh, hopefully they bring this to america if not shit announce a collector's edition specifically for america all right i don't mind i mean shit if they don't do that man i'm gonna have to import this shit okay because i really want this shit i really do anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to leave a like comment subscribe to the channel i'm out peace